Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today I thought it would be a cool idea to show you guys uh, me putting Graphene OS on this brand new Pixel 6a I got. Doing a little bit of an overhead camera shot here. Hope it's okay. Um, we're going to be running through the entire install process. I've never done this, so if you're new to Graphene, you want to figure out how to do it, this could be a good way to figure out how to do it. Maybe you want to do it with me throughout this video. Uh, no prior knowledge or anything at all. We'll see how easy it is for someone not experienced with Graphene. See how the process works. See my first impressions as well. So if you guys like this video, let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe for more graphene-based tutorials if that's something you're into. Or check out the VPN tier list where I've ranked almost every single VPN provider uh, to help you guys find the perfect VPN. Anyways, guys, so let's go ahead and get started and see what we're going to get ourselves into. See the complexity level. So basically, we're on grapheneos.org uh, slash install slash web going through the different options for me i decided to pick the the web installer uh, apparently according to the website you do command line installation as well um, but i wanted to do the web usb based installer since it just seems a little bit easier as the guide explains you're going to need two gigabytes of free memory and 32 gigabytes of free storage space should not be an issue with my phone right here uh, because i just got it haven't really done anything with it um, so what we're going to also need is a usb cable for attaching the device uh, they say to use a high quality USB uh, cable. So I'm gonna get my Pixel box. Look how dirty this thing is. They really uh, the, the, they really did a number on this, didn't they? Pretty dirty. Um, so we're gonna open up the box here, uh, pick up that USB cable. So just to be clear, it does look like that with the, the Pixel A, they ship it with this, which is kind of like an adapter uh, for the device. Um, but this is not going to be able to plug into my computer uh, with USB. Uh, we are going to have to get a uh, USB uh, thing. So a little annoying there, but shouldn't be a huge issue. So something like this will work. Uh, probably will work, hopefully. We're going to plug that in and uh, plug it into the Pixel. Nice, plugged in. All right, so we have the USB Kinema connected. Um, so let's go down. We do have Windows 11, making sure it's up to date. Um, should work. We're using Brave Browser. Uh, do not use Incognito. Use one of supported devices. So we need to enable OEM unlocking. So you need to update it to June 2022 release. Okay. So also at the factory reset it to fix OEM unlocking. So guys, this is one reason me showing you this tutorial is very helpful. Um, even though it does say on the website, you might not have noticed that. So what we're going to want to do is uh, we do have that, you know, factory uh, device. So what we're going to want to do is go into system updates and we're going to want to install that update. Um, a little bit of a hitch here in the install. All right. So we're going to do that and come back to it. So I came back after a little bit. Still seems to be installing uh, updates and optimizing apps. So does seem like this part is going to take quite a bit so i went ahead and installed the update and now it wants to install another update um looks like this is uh, android 13 includes some updated things so looks like we're also going to have to do this as well so definitely when you get the phone there's going to be a significant amount of updates you gotta do so keep that in mind all right guys so now we went through the painstaking process of updating it twice and now we can finally factory reset. So we went through the reset options. We're going to do erase all data and factory reset just like the guide says. All right, erase all data. And let's see, now it's going to do that. All right, guys. And now we have the pixel back to normal. Let's go ahead and set it up again and get started. All right, guys. Now we have fully reset the phone and updated it to the latest operating system. So what we're going to do is do that thing again. We're going to go down here um, to about phone, go to uh, build number. We're going to type that a couple more times again to become developer, enter in our pin. All right, we're now a developer. We're going to go back to the system, go to developer options and go to OEM unlocking. There you go. It does now work. So the guide was correct. All right, so we are gonna enable OEM unlocking. So there we go, the bootloader is now unlocked. Let's go ahead and go back to the guide and see what the next step is. Is we need to 
boot into the bootloader interface and how we do this is to hold the volume button down until it boots up into the bootloader interface um, so we got to reboot the phone first and then hold the button down right here turn the phone off and power off so apparently the way to get this kind of uh, thing here uh, to, for the interact with the bootloader we're going to need this kind of update I couldn't really get Windows to do it so we're gonna download it from this link we're gonna download it right here and see if this works so let's go ahead and download that all right so we now extracted the file so manually install it so we got the download now we want to go to our device manager um, depending on which one right click the one we see here um, update driver okay so browse computer find the one we downloaded okay all right so we're gonna pick the folder there um, so this seems to be uh, the right drives so this is going to install fast so installing drivers install this okay so it says we ins installed the Android bootloader device um, so there we go um, unlock the bootloader um, just want to volume keys to uh, switch to select the exception power off barcode rescue mode recovery mode restart bootloader um, unlock bootloader we did unlock the bootloader um, so actually we just clicked on this and it uh, we're gonna click unlock the bootloader um, so it does seem to be unlocked now so it unlocked the bootloader by clicking on that um, so you need to obtain the graphene factory images um, so we're gonna click here download release seems to be downloading something so we're gonna download that for a second downloaded it okay so initial I'll still be performed by flashing so let's try this something happened with the phone it turned off it's restarting the device writing bootloader restarting device writing radio starting device hopefully everything is going well I have no idea what I'm doing writing boot starting device again uh, looks like uh, software integrity cannot be guaranteed looks like it's a restarting device now um, fast boot it says um, unpacking product um, graphene OS fast boot um, has some numbers there on the screen uh, it says writing product right now on the website and this is kind of what it looks like right now I'm just gonna let it do its thing I'm not gonna touch anything I like the colors though Pretty cool uh, so we're just gonna wait and see what happens as of right now it still says uh, doing this step here so I'm just gonna let it do its thing for now all right seems like we're on the next step now um, so we did flash it now let's go ahead and try locking the bootloader see what that does all right lock the bootloader all right yeah now since successfully installed graphene os and can boot it press the power button with the default start select option in the bootloader interface all right so let's try that see what happens here um uh, press the volume keys lock the bootloader do not lock um so we wanted to set it to lock so we'll lock it and maybe that's it is it gonna start now now successfully so let's just start see what happens see if uh, graphene is now installed um, press power button to press your device is loading a different operating system business link on the device uh, um, let's see if there's anything else we gotta do it seems like it's loading oh look at that graphene OS wow we did it um, let's see if there's anything else we need to do. Um, can we use to verify the hardware? Um, looks like that is it. So let's go ahead and check out what's going on. I like the little gradient there uh, at the beginning. We are back now. Um, let's see. So let's go ahead and start the install here. Um, we're going to click start. Um, pick our language it's kind of hard to see there you go you can kind of see it maybe I'll put a little bit more light uh, sort of anyways 
Select English. Time okay. I don't really have a SIM card right now. Just put the yes here. And we can set up the fingerprint, which is nice. All right. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. Uh, fingerprint, okay. Um, start that. So pretty similar so far to the setup for the actual pixel um, that I was doing. When you're setting these things up, you kind of want to, so cool little animation. Um, wow, very black and white. So this is what it looks like. Um, we got the stuff here, um, vanadium, right? Some kind of alternative Chrome, ops, auditor, some basic apps. All right, guys, so, yep, there we go. There's Graphene OS, uh, fully installed, noob to pro, I guess. We'll have to see what kind of things we can do with this. Stay tuned for future videos. Uh, thanks for checking this one out. If I could do it, anyone else could do it. This is my first time. Did it live on video, didn't take too long at all, and it was pretty easy. Anyways, guys, see you in the next video very soon.